Hey everyone, and welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at the link tag, okay? And the link tag is very important and very powerful inside of HTML. It can allow us to link to different web pages within our own website, or we can use it to link the user to an external website if you want to guide them over there. So in our example here, we are going to be making it so that Zenva right here is going to be clickable. Okay, on our website, we can hover over and click on it to open up the zenva.com website. So how are we going to do this? Well, first of all, I'm going to make it not say zenva.com. Instead, I'm going to make it just say Zenva since we don't need the .com as that's going to be uh, automatically done for us when we go over to it. So on this Zenva text right here, what we're going to do is encapsulate it within a tag called A. So here I'm going to do an opening bracket, go A, and then do a closing bracket called A as well. Now, something you may notice is that we are doing tags within tags, and this is something you can do in HTML. Okay, we have a paragraph tag here, which is encapsulating all of this text here, and then we have a link tag, which is encapsulating this text here. And so Zenva has both the link tag properties and the paragraph tag properties applied to it. Okay, we could also do a link up here in the header. So we have a bold and larger uh, link. So we have our link right here. Let's click run. And as you can see, when we click on Zenva, nothing happens. And the reason why is because we haven't told the link to link anywhere at all. Okay, right now we have the link tags, but it's not doing anything. Okay, it doesn't know where it wants to take us. So we have to tell it where we want to go. And the way to do this is by assigning the tag an attribute. Now in HTML, we can give tags attributes, which is basically like telling a tag uh, some more information. Okay, telling the tag information that it needs in order to apply to the website. Now, in our case for a link, we need to give it a link attribute, okay? We need to basically tell this tag where we want to navigate to when this is clicked. And to do this, we need to create a, uh, a attribute called href, okay? And this is basically a linking site. We then go equals, and then in quotation marks, we enter in the website we want to link to. So for this here, I'm gonna go to our opening uh, a tag, our opening link tag. I'm going to do a space and then I'm going to go href equals and then in two quotation marks here, we enter in the name or the URL of the website. Okay, what URL do we want to navigate to? And in our case, we're going to go to zenva.com. So I'm going to go https colon two forward slashes zenva.com. Okay, and this right here is linking this link right here to zenva.com. We can click the run button. And what you'll see is on our website now, we have a uh, bluish sort of text with an underline. And this is basically a uh, definition of a link, okay? When users see this, they'll go, oh, that is a link, I can click on that. And when we hover over it, you can see that the pointer turns into uh, the basic, the clickable icon. So we can click on this and it is going to navigate us to zenva.com, okay? In this preview window here, we are opening up the zenva.com website. Now in REPL.it right here, to go back to the previous website or to go back to our website, we can just right click and click on where it says back. Okay, and it's gonna take us back to our website. So now we have working links within our website. Okay, we can link to uh, different websites. If we wanna have a list of, you know, my favorite websites or the best learning resources, we can create a website just like that. Now, let's just say you want to give the user more information about where you are leading them to uh, when they click a link, okay? And what we can do with that is by creating a title attribute within our A tag right here. And tags can have multiple attributes. So after we are defining href right here, I'm gonna do a space, go title equals, and then within two quotation marks, we are gonna give it a title. And for this, I'm gonna go learn programming, okay? We can then run that and on the surface, everything looks the exact same, but look what happens when we hover over the Zenva link. You'll see it pops up with a little uh, sort of preview text saying learn programming. And that is what a title is uh, as an attribute to a link tag. So uh, if you maybe have a list of various different links, you might want to give the user more information about where they are going or what they could potentially find on that website. And that is what you can do with a title attribute. 
Okay, so we're able to link to external websites, but what if we want to link to another uh, web page within our very own website? Well, first of all, we need to create ourselves a new page. And to do that, we can go over here to the top left corner of the screen where it says add file. I'm gonna click on that. And then I'm gonna call this one, uh, let's just say newpage.html. You do have to add that .html extension at the end in order for this file to know that it is a HTML uh, file. Hit enter, and we have created our new page right here. So on this page here, I'm just gonna type something uh, simple, just such as this is a new page. Okay, we're just using this as an example in order to see, okay, how do we switch to a new page? I'm gonna go back to index.html, which is our default page here, and I'm gonna create a brand new link on a new line. Let's create a new paragraph tag right here, and inside of this paragraph tag, we're just gonna have text that says link to another page. And we are gonna make where it says another page, a link tag. So just like before, we need to create the A uh, opening tag and the A closing tag in order to create a link. And then remember that if we do want to actually link somewhere, we need to enter in the href attribute. So after A, I'm gonna go href equals, and instead of going HTTP or www. All we need to do is basically write out the file name, okay? If you do have subfolders, you do have to enter in those folder directories, but we've made it nice and simple for us. We have our new page here in the exact same folder. So all we need to do is in two quotation marks, just go new page, whoops, new page .html. Okay, click run. And then you'll see here, we have the link to another page, uh, a link right here. We can click on that and it is going to take us to our new page. This is a new page. We can right click, go back here. And yet yeah, that is how we can link to new pages within our very own website. Let's quickly go over what we've learned. We've created the A tag here, which is a link that we can navigate to either an external website with the href attribute, or we can link to an internal web page with the href attribute as well, okay? We've also looked at the title attribute, which is applied uh, when we hover over the link and it gives us a bit more information about what we're about to click. Uh, and yep, so basically links are these very powerful things that you can use pretty much in many, many different circumstances on your website. So thanks for watching. And in the next lesson, we're gonna be looking at how we can create some images here on our website. So I'll see you all then in the next lesson.